My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. He deserves your praise. He deserves your worship. He deserves everything. He is worthy of our praise.
thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Father. Just wave your hands to Jesus. Thank Him. He's the reason why we are here. He's the reason why we are here. Never forget that he's the reason why we are here. The King of Kings, the Lord of all lords. He's Adonai. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We give you glory. We thank you for your mighty presence, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for the greatness of your love. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Kilehakadas. Venemehongresh. Konahagrahesh. Konakahagadegeshesh. Vegegegehesheshesheshesheshesh. Lo no 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 gregegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegeg
and they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden so what God used to do every day was to come to them and the Bible says that when the voice of God was coming it was the presence of the Lord trying to come to them and yet they will separate themselves from God and they hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden and that has been the problem of mankind that we are trying to hide ourselves from the one who made us that is the greatest problem because the first evidence that man sinned was that man went to oh shouted you remember growing up when you used to steal meat from the soup or the steel or ice cream I don't know which one you used to steal but but that prophecy I suspect you used to steal something from the free something something bread I remember I used to the bread you go then you how did you know in the middle you see I said everybody knows what I'm talking about then once you take it you don't sit there you go and hide somewhere and when you finish you try to do this as if you did nothing the effect the first effect of the sin of man was to hide that's how some people some people are hiding their phones some people have five password you have to use your eyes and your fingerprint what are they hiding is the effect of the fall yes yes you have a password on your atm and the other person does not know why are you hiding the first effect of sin and the fall is hiding and that is the greatest thing god has been trying to restore to mankind and so when jesus came he gave him a name in isaiah 7 verse 14 oh beautiful one jesus do you remember the song beautiful let's sing that song thank you jesus therefore the lord himself shall give you a sign behold a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and call his name emmanuel what is the meaning of emmanuel is it that jesus is coming to restore the relationship with mankind and the name he came with is god with us i said man was hiding god said i don't want man to hide i must send somebody who will make sure that i am back with these people again let's sing the song thank you there is none just lift up like you beautiful one. jesus Very simple song. Beautiful one. Jesus is our beautiful one. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. There is you. Beautiful one. Oh, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. There is no one like Jesus. Beautiful, beautiful. You are Jesus. There is none like like you. came and his name is called Emmanuel actually the word is there with us God but they had to convert it to God with us Emmanuel now when God says he's with us it means he's with us but it means more than that you see these two people are on the same pew or on the same place but they can sit here and never talk two of us 
they can sit here and they will be enemies. True or false? They, they are together. So you can say, oh, I went to visit him. I was with him the whole day, but we never talked. So when God says that he wants to be with you, it's more than the presence being with you. Let me say it so that I know people are watching young and old. When you say you are with your wife, is that correct? Then you can say you were with your wife and it means a different thing. Does it make sense? How many do agree with what I'm saying? So, I am with you. Then I am with you. The same words, but it has different meanings. The depth of one is deeper than the other. Do you agree with me? So when Jesus came to be with us, it was more than God trying to be around you. The purpose of God for your life is to come to a place where you know that his presence is with you and then he wants to be intimate with you. So Jesus came in John chapter 14 verse 20 verse 16. He came, the without God came and he's about to leave. And so if you are the one to be with us and you want to leave, then you, you must do something. So look at what Jesus said. And I will pray the father and he will give you another comforter Allo, paracletus. it means another of the same kind that he may oh did you hear that so the purpose of Jesus coming was to be with you but he has to go back he said that no no don't, don't get worried I'm going to go but another of the same kind will come but this time when he comes he will never have to leave he will be with you Forever. next verse even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but you know him, for he dwelleth and he shall be he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Now it gets better because to be with you is powerful, he is with you, he is dwelling outside you. But now he said that he is going to position himself inside you so that the presence of God with you. Is eternal, it's inseparable. It can how many people left their hearts at home? Or you left your lungs at home? It looks stupid. The question I'm asking is that not correct? Because Pastor, how can you say that I can leave my lungs at home? That is what has happened to you when we got born again. The without God, the Emmanuel, He not only came to be with us and walk among us, He came to be with us close to you. Then now He lives inside you. So before Jesus actually left, he said in Matthew 28 verse 20, he said, and lo, that is the King James Version said that, I'm telling you the truth. He said, and lo, I am with you always. The day you believe that is the day you got born again. Now, don't believe that word. I'm trying to just stress on the point. You are, you are born again. But I'm trying to say the purpose of you being born again is to believe that this Jesus is with you always get born again and when you feel he's not with you it is just your consciousness it's just a lie of the devil it's just the devil who is trying to tell you he has left you can't you see you are not feeling him you used to feel him but now you don't feel him no he said teaching them to observe all things whatsoever i have commanded you and lo i am with you always how by means of the holy spirit the greatest work the devil did was to separate man from God. And the greatest work Jesus came to do was to bring man to, back to God. So Jesus said, I and my father are one. If Jesus said that, you too, you can say that today. The Bible said, this is the greatest mystery hidden from all the ages of time. Colossians 1.27. He said, this mystery was hid, but now it has been made known to us, which is Christ in you. Your hope of any form of glory is to understand this mystery that Christ is inside you. I repeat. The hope that you can have a changed life, you can be blessed. Even the hope that you go to heaven is to know that Christ is in you. Because if Christ is not you, you, you can't survive in heaven. But many times we forget and we try to bring Christ to us. How is it that you believe that you can call him and he told you he's with you and he said no no 
I don't think you are with me, but when I call you, I will, I will believe you will come. <laughs> no, no. He said, I am with you. You believe that? No. Come, Holy Spirit. From where? He said, I am with you. You believe the song than what he's t- he told you. And he, somebody's even angry with me that, Pastor, how can you say that? But you see, it's not me you are angry with. You are angry with what Jesus said. I think it's easy to believe God's word than to believe our feeling. I want to feel him first. What is the proof that your feeling is correct? What is the proof? Maybe you add to my, that's why you are feeling what you are feeling. All you have to do is to believe. I told you, the greatest problem of mankind was that we got separated from him. And the greatest problem he has solved and is solving is that we will know that he is not far from us. I want to ask you, they told us that heaven is up. Three of us. Do you believe it? I don't believe heaven is up. Because how can heaven be up if the world is round? The people who are down there, where is their heaven? Can I get a ball? Something round? You can move your head, but... Let's assume this is the end. The people here, heaven is up. The people here, heaven is. <laughs> you see, you're looking at me. The earth is round. The people here say that heaven is up. The people here say that heaven is up. But you here, heaven is down to you. Ah, you see. So I've got you confused. Because. <laughs> oh, say, say what you are saying. Say. I said the earth is revolving, so it will get to everybody's turn. At some point, everybody. So, so at some point, heaven is not up. Is that correct? You see, what he's saying is not correct. But let's assume he is correct. So at some point, heaven is not up, according to what he's saying, because the earth is revolving. So at some point, the heaven will not be up; it will be down. Let's assume you are correct, but you are not correct. It will be down, which is not true. One day Jesus is talking. He's talking to them on the earth. He said that even the Son of God who is in heaven, he was standing there talking to them and he said that I am in heaven. Heaven is just a dimension away. The Bible said to be absent from the body is to be present. It is your mind. Oh my goodness. Lift up your right hand. Today we have a baby dedication so let's try and move on. Father, we thank you. Just thank him for his love. How much he loves you to be with you. Lift up your voice. Thank him for his presence. In that house, he is with you. Everywhere in that car. Right where you are watching us from, he is with you. Mahagadas. Lehegekistas. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. The king of kings, you are with us. What a wonder. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you so much. Oh, dear. It's too good to be true. You are with us. You want to be with us and be with us. The king of kings, not man. Not man. Not any man. But the God of the universe.
cannot thank you enough for Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. And everyone shouted a living amen. amen. Clap for Jesus again. Last week, God bless us, we had a great time in his presence. And I started talking to you about the benefits of the anointing. And today I just want to continue and just give you an understanding of the anointing for some few minutes. Hallelujah. We realized last week that the anointing is all you need. The anointing will make you a captain in life. The Bible said there was a young man called Saul. Ordinary man, chasing donkeys. Then the anointing came upon him. He became the captain suddenly. Verse Samuel 10 verse 1. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Then Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon his head and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord had anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? So the anointing will make you a captain of life. And we realize that the anointing too will set you apart to make you distinct and distinguished. Although David was the youngest in the family, very soon all the elder brothers had to come and bow before David. Why? The anointing can promote you. The anointing can elevate you. The anointing will take care of the deficiencies of your physical life. Hallelujah. And we discovered also that the anointing preserves you. He said when they moved from one nation to another, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Say, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. So the anointing makes you an untouchable. And you want to believe and be conscious of this blessed power you have. Glory be to God. The anointing can give you something. Somebody sent me a testimony. I'm intentionally not telling you a lot of testimony for a reason. But let me read this one to you. Glory be to Jesus. Good evening, Pastor. Let me tell you what the anointing can do. Good evening, Pastor Mark. I recently enrolled in an informal cyber security class. And the class is still ongoing. A third party recruiter reached out to me regarding a cyber security job which I do not even have any working experience. He mentioned that he was going to share my profile with his boss. And the next step would be the boss calling to interview me. And thereafter, they will submit my profile to the hiring company. The hiring manager from the hiring company would then interview me. So at least how many interviews? Two before you get a job. However, I never had any interview with this third party recruiter's boss, nor the hiring manager from the hiring company, but I have been offered the job. Said they are going to get me the security clearance with this it will help with future job search as most cyber security related jobs ask for at least the public trust security clearance if this is not a favor from god then i don't know what it is it's called the oil of favor the anointing can produce favor so you want to make sure you understand the workings of the anointing you want to understand how to increase in the anointing you want to understand how to use the anointing. You want to understand how to bring the anointing on the scene. Because this anointing can change any situation. Glory be to God. Amen. For the few minutes, I just want to say certain things about the anointing which will help our understanding. Then maybe next week, if God will grant us grace, we'll talk about how to increase in the anointing. Once you understand how it works, you will know how to increase. You can predict that today I'll come with five gallons of anointing or 20 gallons of anointing that is if you can carry it hallelujah you want to understand that this life i'm sure one of the verses you should know by now is that for by strength shall no man i repeat for by strength shall no man prevail you don't get up and say that i want to do this and you do it because if that was the case i'm sure everybody will be <laughs> because for by strength shall no man prevail this life you need an empowerment you need to be empowered consciously it's not guesswork you should not say that i think i'm empowered if you went into a heavyweight boxing match with mike tyson when he was mike tyson <laughs> when he was iron now he's silver <laughs> or chaff <laughs> when he was iron you don't go and say that i think I'll, i can handle mike tyson let, 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 let's try me out there's somebody here he was a boxer he told me a story one day they hit him he never went back again i, I won't say he, he he tried to do professional but you realize that it's not by mind not by power 
but by the Spirit of God. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny. It's just funny. I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> Glory be to God. Just to have a desire is not enough. Just to be a good person is not enough. That, oh, I'm a good person. I just want to save souls. It's not enough. I'm a good person. I just want to have money and bless life. It's not enough. Just being sincere. It's like you went to the airport and the pilot came that I've never gone to training school but I have a good heart I want you to I want you to just <laughs> I just want to fly you to where you are going but I'm a good person I've never killed anyone I can't I don't even have to kill people and I just have this private jet will you join me why he has a good heart he is sincere he, actually he just finished praying 55 hours of tongues will you join the, that flight why he doesn't have the ability but the pilot who has the ability and he has not spoken in tongues he doesn't know even fear God you sit in the three of us to have a good heart is not enough so stop saying that God I have I have a good heart just give me money and try me and see God the way I'm a good wife I'm a, I'm a good woman I can be a good wife I'm a good man I can be a good husband I can be the CEO no just a good desire is not enough you must be empowered you must be strengthened so i want to people are going to hell i want to go and organize a crusade in my village <laughs> it's good <laughs> but before you go be empowered and the, the anointed is responsible for this empowerment proverbs 24 verse 10 the bible said if thou faint in the day of adversity it's not because the devil is strong or god is weak it's because your strength is small if thou faint in the day of adversity thy strength is small and the truth is adversity will hit every one of us it's called the day of adversity everybody will have a season of adversity so the problem is not trying to escape it it's preparing for the day of adversity and the way to prepare is to make sure that your strength is small oh life can hit every one of us any day any time but what you need to do is prepare your strength there is not one person on this planet that the devil will say that I like you. Let's let, let's leave this one alone. This family, let's leave them alone. Oh, the way they are kind. Oh, let's leave them alone. No, the devil is nobody's friend. And all you have to do is to make sure that you advance in God's power. Ecclesiastes 10, verse 10. Thank you, Jesus. If the iron be blunt and he do not wet the edge, then must he put more strength. But wisdom is profitable to direct. Can I get in the message Bible? When you have an iron, let me use the, the, those who cook. I almost said that the ladies, but it's not only ladies who cook. So those who cook. <laughs> you go to the kitchen and you need a knife to cut. Some of them, one is sharp, the other is not sharp. But that, unfortunately, that's the only one you have. What should take you five minutes to cut the onions? You can use forever. Why? The problem is that your tool is not sharp. Remember, the duller the axe, the harder the work. Use your head. The more brains, the less muscles. <laughs> Clap for the <laughs> message. <laughs> it's called working smart. If I was talking about business and work out, this one is a very nice verse. But let's, let's stay in the upper part. Give me the living Bible. Glory be to God. A dull axe requires great strength. Be wise and sharpen the blade. So you must decide that your strength will increase. Because a fight can end in the first round. But another one can go to 12 rounds. And yet, there will be no winner decided. But somebody shows up and five minutes he ended the game. And the difference is the strategy and the strength. And the anointing of God's power is what we need to win the battles of life. The son of God, Jesus, he came from heaven. He's the son of God. His father is very God and he's God himself. When he came, he came to save mankind. But God told him to wait till you are empowered. And the Bible said the Holy Ghost came upon Jesus in Luke 4 verse 1. Full of the Holy Ghost. And yet Jesus will not go out to try to heal a sick person. He went to the mountains and fasted for 40 days, 40 nights. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. When he was going, he was full of the Holy Ghost. But when he was coming, the Bible says something. Go to verse 14. Glory be to Jesus. Mm. 
and Jesus returned in the power of the spirit into Galilee and there went out a fame of him through all the regions round about when he was full of the Holy Ghost there was no fame about him but when he came in the power the fame went out there was a, a verse in the Bible in Isaiah 60 I believe Jesus never quoted the verse so he gets to verse 14 and jump to verse 18 look at verse 18 the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he had anointed me he was reading from the book of Isaiah he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind to set a liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the Lord and look at what he said and he closed the book and he gave it to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him and he began to say unto them this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears but he was the son of God when he was born when he was 20 he was the son of God but he never went to the devils and said that today I'm anointed let me cast out the devil he never tried but when he had returned from an empowerment he said today this scripture is fulfilled and we know what happened from that day the guy started manifesting the anointing so it's never good to have a good vision good purpose good plans you must be empowered for that assignment Jesus after his death and resurrection the disciples some of them were excited to go out to preach he said that please don't go tarry until you are endued with power Luke 24 verse 49 thank you Jesus glory be to God 24 49 but 49 And behold, I send the promise of my father upon you. But wait, tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. This is Jesus talking. He said that you need empowerment. And the empowerment God gives to his children is called the anointing. Say the anointing. Shout the anointing. First John 2 verse 20. The first thing I want you to know is that the day you got born again, you had the deposit of God's anointing in you. Say, I have the anointing. But you have an unction from the Holy One. And you know all things. Another word for anointing is called unction. Say, unction. Maybe you have heard the expression, unction to function. You need the unction to function. So the anointing, the unction gives you the ability to work. So you have an anointing. Can I get in the NIV? You have an anointing from the Holy One. But you have an anointing. Say, I have an anointing. We always have to begin from what we have and what we know work with what you have before you get into what you don't have many people have neglected what god gave to them when jesus wanted to feed the five thousand he asked what do you shouted what do you he was jesus i'm sure he said that let's go and order a whole bakery and let them shape he said no no let's start with what we have although what we have is not enough but that is the beginning point always discover what you have and start with what you have and everyone if you are born again you have a deposit of God's anointing in you your assignment is to discover what is the anointing and how will it grow go to verse 27 the same chapter thank you Jesus listen to me somebody is thinking that pastor you see my problem is not anointing problem what I want is I need money I need a job I need my immigration I need a wife so pastor this anointing hurry up and you tell me something else the Bible said the anointing breaketh the yoke is the anointing the anointing is the answer to all the problems of life if a man can help you a man can only help you based on the anointing they, they carry without that anointing no one can help you so if I were you I would decide that what can I do to grow in this anointing? Because the day you need a man, the man might not be there. One of the things I always pray is that, like Jesus, you have to make yourself unnecessary. Jesus said, I have to go. Jesus, you have a ministry. Where are you going? He said, I came to empower you. Once I go, you have to do the work. It's my prayer that everyone here will be empowered to do the work. So that you don't need a pastor. The only time you need a pastor is that you come for instructions, then you go and work. Because you have the power to cast a devil from your life and you have the power to cast devils from around you and that is the plan of God for everyone I want to ask you a question if you have a child and the child is you are 60 and your child is 30 years old and the child will call you mommy I want to eat what food should I eat mommy I want to bath which soap should I use will you like that 
So why do you think God will like that? I repeat. Do you think God likes that? No. God wants to empower you. So that when Jesus left and Peter needed to heal the sick. Look at Peter trying to say, Jesus, can you come and heal the sick? No. Jesus said, I have trained you. Go ahead and heal the sick. So whatever it is you are going through, discover the plan of God and discover the pathway of empowerment and you can fix the cases around your life. I hope you enjoyed this video and I believe that you were blessed. If um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ, ask the Lord and personal Savior. I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description. Call us and let us lead you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section. Bye.